Okay, if everybody, bow, hope everybody's well. Um, and doing what we can really, uh, keep your fitness up. Again, um, I, I like uh, what Chris is doing. Um, you, you're getting motivated there, well done. So very impressive, so you, what we've done now, you've done your punches, you've done your press-ups, you've done squats, good, good. Um, yeah, so that, that's very good. Okay, so um, this session, we're gonna carry on with the Joe. Let's do some work with that. Okay, so we just need a bit of a warm-up, not too much, okay, and bam. Okay, so we all know, we're going up, and we're coming down. So one side, the other. Okay, this time, see if we can touch the ear to the side, so we're just stretching again. Because you're going to need to get that head out of the way when the stick comes closer to us. That's all it is. And circles one way. And the other way. Okay, there's not too much. Okay, shoulders, small circles forward and backwards. Larger circles forward and backwards. Arms forward, backwards, across the body. Okay, we're just going to work on those fingers. So get the fingers moving because the other ones are going to start moving with the stick. And the wrists, so bring those fingers in like a fist. Open and close, open and close. Okay, and wriggle it around. Okay, again, we're just going to use the straight hands and just make the circles the other way. Okay, fists. And the way. And fingers. And shake. Hands onto the hips, just a little push, not too much movements. And backwards. Into one side and the other. And we're going forward one way. And then we're going to take it the other way. And we're just going to shake. We're just going to bend down, nothing major, just put the hands on those knees, but no snapping back with those knees, not today. Very little with the legs to be done, just movements at all. I'm going to bend the knees forward and back again. It's going to touch the floor, come back up and shake those legs. Okie dokie, that's about it. If you want any more um, stretches before you start touching the weapons, that's fine, no problems at all. Okay, so what we're going to do is, um, we're going to have about 20 minutes with the Joe, and we're going to do another 10 minutes possibly with the nunchucks. Alright, so I know there's a few people asked for that, um, but uh, the Joe's, I was asked first, um, so that's, we're going to concentrate on the Joe. No point doing two weapons at the same time, but um, I know some of you got nunchucks, so you just want the basics, the routines of the nunchucks, so not a problem at all. Okay, so let's get those bow Joes. I'll get it right in a minute, Joes. Okay, so if you're wearing your gi, I'm sure you're not, but if you are, let's just tuck it in tight. Um, lesson one with weapons work, because if you've got a loose gi, I can guarantee you now, when you pull the bow out on the Joe, they start to tuck in, and uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's a nightmare. All right, and so nice and relaxed, nice and relaxed session, and bow, lovely. So we spoke about this before, the position of the stick. I'll just go through it very, very quickly. If the stick's here, it's too far down on the floor. As you can see there, if I step back, it's on the floor. And um, the idea of the stick, okay, is if we need to, is self-defense more so. Very good at attacking, but it's a fantastic tool to defend yourself with as well. So what we're looking at doing is actually hiding that from our opponent so they can't see. So if we can, we want to just hold it there. Now, we don't hold it at the bottom, because look what happens, it sticks out the top. Let's drop it down, so we've got it hidden behind the leg. The Joe for me, which I'm quite happy with, bottom of my calf, if it's touching that, okay, I know it's hidden at the top. So it's just a little bit of practice, okay? All right then, so we're gonna bow, so when we bow, we do bring it to the side, we bow. We're stepping back all the time. Remember, the weapons work is just an extension of your arm, that's all it is. So once we're stepping back, this is the routine that just confuses. A lot of students are happy carrying off the routine and technique number one, but it's just can't get that technique number one. So literally is, the technique is as you're stepping back, we bring the arm in a straight line, straight line. As soon as we start bending that arm, we get youngsters either holding to the top or students holding to the bottom, and this is where they get confused. They don't know which way they're going, yep. So, here, circle. Once it goes high, I'll step back so you can see, we're holding the left hand, grabs the bottom of the stick. That's perfect, okay? So where the elbow is, that's where we're looking at grabbing, just below the elbow. The important part, very important part, is this hand at the top, that has to turn, has to turn, so it goes into a good strong hold, so it pushes forward. Good strong hold, so it pushes forward. What some people will do is try and keep it there. Once they grab this one and they go straight, look what happens now. Because you're putting all that pressure on the wrist, yeah, it's the opposite way. 
So it won't go straight ahead. If it does, it's offset. So they will rectify that by putting it that way. And that's not where the opponent is. The opponent is here. Okay, so there we go. Nice and straightforward. So we're going for that bow, we're going to take that stick, bring it around, twist the fist, put it forward. So another set of techniques than um, we did last time. So once we've got that opponent, there's the stick. You're right in front of us. So we're looking at doing the one and two, all right? So what I'm looking for, first of all, is that knock into the belly. So once we've done that, remember we haven't hit them yet. All we've just done from here is put it into a, a, ready, a ready mode. So you're, you're ready to go if it needs to be. You can take them up, we can do all the defensive moves. Doesn't matter what it is, okay, but it, it's ready. It's ready. So from there, okay, we want that nice lunge forward. What they're looking for is, when, if, if, if anybody was to attack you with a weapon, this would be defending yourself against a weapon more so. You know, um, if somebody's there with the fists and you start picking this up, you would look then the aggressor to anybody else. So we've got that strike. The strike is just the offset because what happens then from the strike, okay, we're going ribs. Okay, so in the gut, strike, strike ribs. This time, if you can imagine, that, 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 it's gonna keep the body down. So what we're looking at doing now, okay, is, now um, a lot of these techniques I've told you the weapons work is solely for the classroom, yeah. Again, if you use anything like this outside there, you're gonna to have to justify yourself. But this, these techniques are solely for the classroom. So we've gone here, we've gone ready stance. We're going for the strike into the gut, we're going for the ribs. From there then, we're just taking that little step back, and as we take that little step back, striking down on top of the head. Again, please emphasize, this is not for outside there. Um, if you do use this technique, you justify it, okay? So literally, all it is, is once you've done here and here, that little step back, and you're looking at coming down, striking on top of the head. As you strike on top of the head, as soon as you hit the head, that's fine. If that leg, the arm goes down, push, 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 you know the head's moved down, okay? Take it out and bring it back for the ready. Okay, so going here into position. Strike, 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 and down. So I'll do that like that one's last. So strike, little front leg comes in a little bit. It's like the cat stance, but we're leaning more so forward. This comes around, striking down on top of the head. As it strikes and the head's been hit and it moves down, let go of the stick, bring it back, and then prime it. So it's ready to go again. All right, so we'll do that again. Nice and nice, I'll face away from you. So from here, nice and relaxed. We're going into the ready. Okay, we lunge and strike forward, hits him in the belly. Then we go for the ribs. All right, then we take that little leg forward, uh, backwards, sorry. Come straight down, come straight down, straight down, straight down. It's hit the head, let go of the other hand, get ready with the other hand, and we're ready again. Okay? So, good, 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 good. A couple more of those, and I'll do them at different angles for you from here. So, nice and relaxed. Going into that ready stance. Okay? We're striking forward. We do the rib, the rib. Left leg, so as my front leg comes in slightly because I'm leaning down and striking, hit the head, the head's gone down, release the hand, look at the hand, this back on now, so that's priming. So it's like a weapon, it's like a string, okay, elastic band, sorry, it's coming in, here it comes, grab, you get ready, you're ready to go again. So you've got that position all the time, all the time. Okay, right, we're gonna concentrate on the one side first of all, yep, and then move on to the opposite sides. Uh, weapons work, you'll find the majority of people will stick with the strongest side. It's completely different to when you have no weapons. Um, so we're not going to criticise that. It's entirely up to yourself. Left-handed or right-handed or, or both. No problems at all. Okay, so from here, bow. Let's put a little bit more onto that. So we're coming in. There. Strike. Here. Here. Down. And positioned. Okay? Right. Position from there now, what we're looking at doing is striking again. And all I'm looking to do now is pushing his back arm, getting there, and bringing it back down. Okay, just bringing it back down. So once we've done the one, two, three, here, strike, back again, striking again, here, and bring it back. So we're hiding it. The stick's gone out of the way again. That's all that's happened. So the stick has gone out of the way. 
Okay? So from here, one, two, three. So we've done that strike, remember? There's your one, two, three. And we've got it primed ready again. We strike, push that back hand down to the side. That's all. So once we've done the push, front hand, keep it there. Back hand, slide forward, take the grab, bring it back, position it. So you're hiding it again. So you're ready. That's all you're doing. You've done your set of movements and you're ready to go again. Slightly different this one. Health and safety, watch if there's anything around. Just be careful. Okay, so from here now, what's going to happen is you're just going to move the arm up. So they're coming into us again. So what they're simulating now is they're coming, they're fixed, they're coming in with a punch. All right, so it doesn't matter which one. If it's their front fist, they come in with a strike, okay? We're literally going to take it to the side. As we take it to the side, here, strike, head. Okay, so you're looking at blocking, striking. So it's there, comes in, comes forward, here, strike, head. This one here, if it's the front fist, if you think about it, the front fist is coming to me now, I've got there, the technique is all the way around and strike like that. I find that if you miss that and you've got this here, it's not gonna block it. So for me, I would prefer to push up and in. It's a lot quicker and a lot stronger. So two options there, you choose which one. One, step to the side, bring it around, grab the bottom and strike. For me personally, they've already hit you by then. So from here, my version, which I prefer, is straight up in front of the face because even if they're there, you've got that protection. And push, strike. Yep. The fist is there, comes towards you. You've blocked it. So, again, I'll give you the two options. For me there, if that fist has been pushed away, I'm striking, I'm actually gonna strike their belly, not their head, okay? So, push, strike good strike because then what you can do from here is hit the back the side of the belly as well all right like i said to you they look very lethal these moves they are if you start hitting somebody with a piece of stick um uh, i've told you most of all about the old samurai okay we'll go into it again in another lesson um never once did he use a live blade and it went all 18 of his fights okay um 13 year old he used a stick and he killed his dad because his dad used to beat him so that is all those years ago, and um, this samurai in person, he used to use the wooden stick because then it would intimidate the other samurai he was fighting because um, they had a life blade. So from here, let's go all together. So we're going in for this one here, positioned and ready. We go for that strike, we take the rib, we take the rib, lean that, bring that leg backwards, lean forward slightly, striking down here, happy with that. So we've got that position there. So once we're back there, it's prime itself, it's here, and there we go. Okay, we strike again, push forward, and hide. That's all we do. Okay, once again. So from here. Next one. Away. Think about it now, the fist is here. So, stomach, stomach. I wouldn't try and strike the head because if I need to get to the head there, the body's possibly already here. It's not gonna be effective at all, yep. So, even if it was, the body was nice and tight, that's still gonna be effective. And then step back, strike. This way, everything, gosh, it's still warm here. Okay, so in the ready position. Strike, strike, strike. Down, strike, lock. Okay. When we do the last strike, it's entirely to you how you hold the stick. We've done from here. We've blocked. Right, you can just drop the hand down and strike, that's up to you. Or from here, you can strike with the hand over and tie it to yourself. There's no right or wrong with this one, yeah? Uh, either or. So. And bow. Okay, shake your legs. 
Okay, just the wrist. Checking time. Okay, then, right then. Let's go again. Bow. A little bit of I'll face this way. Okay, so ready? So we're going around, we're going up. So we're in the ready position now. We strike is one, two, and three. There again. Okay, big push. It's all one move. Push here, there. So you're protecting yourself now. Okay, person in front of you, positions up, here, there, back. All right, so now you have the stick in this position. So it's a sword, basically. Yeah, you'll, you'll potentially think it's a sword. So once you've done the strike, that's hitting into the back. So if I'm punching here, you've done the block to the fist, you've done the hit to the strike there, and now you're doing the stick here. All right, big power. Or, which I like, is the back of the leg. Safer, for, I, I like it, the back of the leg, because you're gonna hit the calves and the thighs, and you're gonna drop individual onto the knees. Again, you're being safe, and you're not messing around anywhere near the spine. Traditional technique would be to hit to the back. Okay, there was no health and safety those years. Okay, all those, all those years and years ago. So literally, it's quick in, quick strike. So once we do that again, so we're here, we push up and block, we strike to the gut, the stomach, all right, so the legs are there, from here. So imagine that strike at the back of the legs. It's gonna hit thigh, calf. So what it will do is just drop into the floor, a lot safer. But just because they drop to the floor, all right, if they drop very quickly, be careful, because you'll want to bring that stick back, yeah? So you'll do, so number one is hit the legs, that's fine. Number two on the way back, you just hit them full force in the face. Be careful, all right? If need be, back. So what you're doing is striking, okay? Here, bring it back. It takes time, it takes time, honestly, yeah? I'm still learning after all this time. So um, a lot of the traditional moves, you'll look and you'll think to yourself, that doesn't make sense. A lot of the weapons works, it doesn't make sense. Um, and different martial arts have different styles. But remember, this sort of thing was there basically uh, for fighting the people with uh, wearing an armor. So, and in the old days, the good old days, fights were done with respect for their opponent. So there was no dirty tricks. So in, um, you, you, it was all clean fighting, if that makes sense. So if I was there, um, Samurai's not left-handed, right-handed. If a Samurai child was born who's left-handed, what the parents used to do is they'll tuck the hand or tie the hand to the side so everything throughout the beginning of their life was had to use so if they couldn't feed themselves they go hungry so they had to learn how to use the right hand swordsmanship was the same okay everything with the right hand yeah a good stance so they would fight their opponents and it was always clean so um it's just a little bit of um, history there but yeah yeah a bit, bit strange really a bit strange all right from here i'll face away from me this time so again, nice and relaxed. We go up, and we push. So we're ready, we're in a ready stance. We're striking forward. Now with that strike forward, some of you will want to do that. Right? You've lost all power, yeah? Keep over the stick, drive the stick forward. It's the gut and you want that reaction, yeah? That, there's a strong, strong possibility. If they see that, they'll just grab it and pull it away from you. So we've done one, two. Right, we're two, so you're already there. Okay, just bring this one up, and there, there. Okay, so there's one, two, three. We know what's coming now, a little, there we go. So we're looking at that strike forward again, same time, bring it back. Here, opponent's coming to strike. Coming in with a hand, straight up, tight, there, strike, here, strike. We're looking to put that person down on the floor in front of us. I'll try and do that over here because I'm walking over there so you can see. Again. <clears throat> so. Nice and relaxed, nice and relaxed. So we will use the sticks and we will simulate it 
and it's just um, a form of a martial art at all. But out by the side there, like I said to you, any sort of weapon you pick up, clearly and quite rightly so, um, get ready because you have to justify any technique you do. Any technique you do, especially if you're picking up weapons. Weapons, weapons, weapons. Okay, um, and shake, and bow. Um, just thinking out loud now, uh, what I'll do is I'll put on the site uh, how many people have got nunchucks. It's pointless me doing a technique now on the nunchucks if you haven't got any. You should just be standing there holding nothing. Um, I'll just have a quick think of that then, really. Right, uh, we'll do a little bit of ground for, uh, yeah, upper body, upper body. Okay, so 10, 15 minutes left, bit of upper body and bam. Okay, so just shake those hands again. All right. Um, breaks, looking at breaks, okay? Blocks and breaks. Again, I'm sorry, this sounds really boring. But be mindful if you do these techniques out there, there's a strong possibility you could injure the other person. Even though that person's attacked you, we still have a duty of care to them. I don't make you laugh. Okay, so we're looking at now, good fists up, nice and relaxed. Um, when we lower grades, we're taught with the fists. When we start getting to those brown belts, we're we, we like you, yeah, quite happy. Um, adults class, um, I would like you to have your fists tight, um, but I know we're all sneaky because we have our hands open because we know what's coming in. Adults, I'm fine with that. As long as you can prevent yourself from getting hurt because when we start putting our hands into fists okay that's when we start getting our strength okay yep fists come solid all right so we're looking for nice and easy okay front punch comes in get to the side okay literally we're not going to do all these big moves literally from here to the side clasp it so we're looking at a clasp break so what we're looking at doing is see this area here we've clasped there yep so we're pushing there. So, no good pushing behind, big solid muscle there. All right, there. So, what we're looking at doing is, is you're pushing the elbow. If we go higher up, that's not a problem at all, but higher up, we need to push and pull, and you'll snap the elbow there. You'll, you'll, that break will be effective there. Okay, so from here, so block. All right, so look at that there. That's clasped the fist. So, we're looking at just here. If we go nice and tight, we're still this area below the elbow and you'll get that jolting feeling from the individual so it, oh because you're just jolting the elbow forward if you lock and literally twist and push you're going past the elbow and what that will do is dislodge it it's gone now yep. doesn't matter which side it is okay so we've got a left leg in front so we're doing that business right leg again here nice and tight and so as we're hitting the individual we're not pushing we're twisting so the power of momentum from here is twist twist it's not just a, a wave not effective because what's that doing is that spongy as soon as you start twisting you're locking it solid absolutely solid and the momentum and the speed of that will crash okay so from here now left leg in front so nice and relaxed we're going to just quick block there and a strike if you want to, you've seen the techniques we do when we do the eye bars, okay? That in itself just gives you a little nerve sensation and it really, if you're carrying a weapon, you'll drop the weapon to the floor. So block, strike. Happy with that? Strike. What we're looking at doing now is, because we've got that momentum there, that strike, as we hit, take that step, and kick. So you've got an arm, you've got a position, kick onto the back. What we should have as well is, that momentum of the fist so we've got the hand if we can grab them again if you go to the floor step away that's going to put you in a lot of world of pain if you start attacking an individual when they drop to the floor if they get up again we can do something else but don't start boom boom from the floor it's not good and never kick them in the head never all right so here we go nice and relaxed we're coming again tuck strike what we're going to do now is because they come forward their foot is right in front of us so kick the leg and down they go if we don't want to kick the leg back, take it forward. So we've got that lock, twist, leg in front, push them down. This one, be mindful, because if the elbow is in that stress point position, you will snap as you push forward. So just be mindful, okay? Um, so all these techniques are there. So we're just trying to, I'm trying to give you the senior grades, the, um, the understanding of how, how dangerous it is, and uh, they're very dangerous, all of them. So nice and relaxed, okay, here we go. Person's in front of us, look, leave me be, leave me be. Uh, and then all of a sudden, for me as well, with the open hands, 
for the cameras and all the people, open hands, look, look, I don't want to fight you, even if that, okay, then come on. And if somebody's over there, or the video's over there, and they can't hear, all they can see is two individuals squaring up against each other. Open hands. Yeah, look, leave me be, leave me be. Comes in, comes in, it's fine. Here, straight down. On the floor, leave me be. Yeah, if they're screaming, 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 I know they're alive. Yeah, but at least if the individuals go down to the floor, um, it's an instinct in the brain, if you think about it now, if I was to push, or if you were to push any of your colleagues or, or students on the floor and push them down face forward, the first thing they'll do is put their other hand in front of the face. If we drop to the floor, that happens automatically. Yeah, It's an instinct, a primal instinct, push the hands in front to stop us. If we start falling backwards, the majority of the times we'll start to arch and we'll, we'll tuck our head down. So for us anyway, because we know what to do, it, it's just instilled. So, at least with this one, if you're pushing forward, they've got their right hand to put themselves on the floor. All right? But then we're just going to do that move back. And if we've still got the arm, that's fine. When we kick them and drop them back, sheer fright of going backwards, head will be lower than the body. First thing that hits the floor, majority of the time, is going to be the head. Serious injury. So, again, twos and fours with all. Okay, okay. So that's if we take them on the inside. That's sort of the outside, we're taking them on the outside, they're coming towards us, we're not stopping them. That train, remember? Snap. Train coming past. Right, we take them on the inside now. So we've got to be very mindful. If it's here and they're coming forward, there, me personally, this is me, that there, I'm left open. Completely and utterly open. All that side of the body, the back of the head, the spine, the backside, it's all left open. So hands here, if it does happen, give it a slap. Slap, slap, so slap, back of the hand. Open hand, yeah, nice back slap. So here, hip, slap, okay. Once we push, we can actually push and guide it onto this one. So open hand, look, leave me be, let, let it go, let it go, let it be, bang. So this pushed, back slap, the elbow. The elbow's there, self-defense without realizing. Yeah, from here, push, back. It's there. You've left your body half sized, yep, so anything here, there's a strong possibility that elbow is going to protect your face, but you'll also come down and it'll block anything that's coming in. If you give them the big slap at the back of the hand, that's just the nerve systems on the face. Oof. If it hits the ear, perfect the eardrum. All right? Um, what we're looking at doing is minimum effort, maximum effect. Minimum effort, maximum effect. So from here, if I'm giving that slap and pushing that away, I don't want to get involved in this, that's what I'm going for. By the time they've moved forward, we don't just ticket it. If we are committed, good slap, good slap, yeah? Big, strong person, I can tell you now for a fact, if I block, strike, here, give it them again. So they've had two whacks on the side of the face, yeah? Open hands, not punches, open hand slaps. If you're being attacked, you have the right to defend yourselves. Okay, self-defense. That open hand, even though if it was to perforate an eardrum, you could justify that. All you did was back slap, front slap. You've used minimum force, gain maximum effort. Okay, so that, that's a lovely one. Um, majority of times, yeah, open hands, slap, slap, slap. And we do in the, the unit, in the dojo, sorry, we do the open slap techniques, and it's just it's fun. You know yourself have done it. So again, Lock, protected, back slap, slap. Yeah. For me now, I want them away from me. Absolutely away from me. Front leg, push away. Yeah. There's strong possibilities you've hit them there, and if you hit them there, they've gone straight down anyway. So be careful. If you push them away from me, you hit the head and push the head backwards. If the head is nice and low and you are pushing the head back, better actually because they're gonna land on the floor and the bum. Yeah, because it's a lower target, a lower target. Okay. So, from this one, let's have a look now. Um, lock here, back, slap, okay? You wanna go straight into a protective zone. With this hand here, I, I don't like it. I don't like it, because what we haven't catered for, we have catered for the left hand and the head. But if they're quite strong, or they are, um, say for they've had a drink of alcohol, or they're on drugs or anything, they're not gonna feel that, gang. They're not gonna feel it. What it will do is literally wind them up even more. 
we've got their right hand that's in that prime position. It's down here. It might not even be coming up as we've done a back slap. So we need to be protected. So then again, we're going to protect back. If we just want to back slap, that's fine. So for me, I'm up here, here, back slap. Why can't we punch? We've still got that guard and we're back there. Yeah. From there, back slap, punch, knee. But don't get committed with all the locks on that. Too dangerous, far too dangerous. Okay, so once again, from here, if we're going on the outside, we just literally left leg in front, get up, okay? Remember that that's what we're looking for. We'll try that when we come back to the unit, okay? Just by placing that hand there and just giving it a twist and you'll feel the jolt. Not comfortable at all. But the further back you go, past that elbow, snap, down. We've all we've got to do is literally, because we've got momentum now, it's coming this way, put the foot. We don't need to throw, because if we throw, we're going to end up over there. I want to end up right in front of me, because I can control them from here, straight down. Alternatively, here, then, back. Goods for that, fast, very, very fast. Bads, momentum, head hits a fall first. Dangerous, be very, very careful. Inside, yeah, okay, so we're cupping. Once we've got that fist out of the way, we're protected by the elbow. Elbow, either way. Side on from here, slap, forward slap, or slap, strike and bring back up. Yep, yeah. knee, okay, push back. Right, so just a couple of little techniques. So, what I'm mindful of doing, because you know what I do, a uh, day to day job, so we've got to be protected. It's fantastic teaching you all these techniques. And all these martial arts do that, fantastic job. All different martial arts are, are for different people. They care about different things, and certain people like that martial art, not this martial art. Um, we're all the same. The martial arts I, I train in and I teach, I, I love. That's it. But I will give you the do's and don'ts, the goods and bads. Yeah, you have to be aware of that, because if you think you can just go out there and protect yourself, boom, yes, you can. Yeah, remember the preemptive strike? If you feel that you're in fear there and then, all right, you can hit first. Preempted. Right. Okay, we'll talk about that again. Right, you lot. Okay, okay. Um, Tuesday, step the tempo up, fists and feet more so. Um, I could do with another partner, but we're not allowed to do that, are we? Unless. No, it's okay, we'll sort that out. Okay, okay, so we'll step it up, hands be signs, feet together. Have a lovely weekend, you lot. Be safe. I want to see behavior in the adults class. Maybe I need to. And bam. Take care. See you soon.